Last year I made a video where I shared my perspective as a hardcore fan of Mother 3 on why I felt the game was kind of screwed over with its representation in Super Smash Bros. However, one thing particularly I wanted to avoid in my suggestions on how improvements could have been made was to just say, they should have added another Mother character in addition to Ness and Lucas, that would have solved everything. I didn't say that for a number of reasons, including it's kind of a cop-out. It's unoriginal, and it doesn't really guarantee better representation of the original games the characters are from. Legend of Zelda has six characters, but most Zelda fans would argue that the series still has some fairly poor representation. With all that said, I want to make a fun little video where I explore the idea, if there was another mother character in Smash, who should it be? Having been a lurker in Smash communities and very active in the Mother fanbase for a number of years, I already had an idea in my head of characters from the series that people would have been interested in joining the roster. In addition, I asked on Twitter before beginning this video on who everyone would want to see, and I got a lot of responses. Almost everyone suggested characters I had on my list already, fittingly. But anyways, I'm going to take this list and rank every character from who I think would be the least good addition to best addition. For clarification, I don't think any of these characters would be bad additions, not at all, but some are just better than others. Also, this is my opinion, therefore it's subjective. I may be a hardcore Mother series fan, but my opinions may not line up with yours, so please keep an open mind. I'll go over any relevant factors necessary for the sake of this video, such as moveset potential, importance to the Mother game they're in, and popularity. I narrowed the potential desired newcomers into a list of 11 characters, and I'll go over them all now, without a further ado. In 11th place is Gygus, or Gigu. Yeah, the form Gygus takes in Mother 2 really wouldn't translate well into a Smash fighter, so we're talking about his appearance in Mother 1 here. Okay, so... Don't get me wrong, I like Gygus, he's an interesting as hell villain, but he's definitely one of my least desired mother characters to join Smash Bros. Sure, if he was added he'd give some antagonist rep and also mother 1 rep, but the whole point of how Gygus attacks in both games he's in is that you can't even comprehend how he's attacking you. And look, I know the Smash developers can do wonders in translating abstract moves into attacks for a lot of different characters, but when it comes to metaphysical descriptions that boil down to just being text that hurts you, yeah, that wouldn't translate well to a moveset. Not to mention, inevitably Gygus would be considered too similar to Mewtwo from Pokemon. Sorry man, he's just too abstract for Smash. In 10th is Mr. Saturn. Now hear me out, I really like Mr. Saturn, he's definitely one of the best items in Smash Bros. But if he were to be playable, we'd lose that item. Okay, I do have better arguments than that. Before I get to that, I'll say in favour of him getting in, there's a few things to consider. I actually initially had Mr. Saturn placed below Gygus before I asked my buddy, Retro64, for his thoughts on why he thinks Mr. Saturn should be a Smash fighter, and he gave me some good insight. To summarise, Mr. Saturn was the number one most voted for mother character in the 1999 If There Were a Smash 2 poll. Mr. Saturn is undeniably the mascot of the mother series as a whole, and accordingly very popular. He'd have plenty of potential for a silly and fun moveset, particularly as a non-psychic mother character. Good points undeniably, but I gotta be honest, Mr. Saturn is a pretty unserious pick, and I do prefer less joke characters in Smash games. I really like when joke characters represent a random bit of Nintendo history, like Duck Hunt Duo or Wii Fit Trainer, but when they are taking up dev time by giving more rep for a series that already has characters, like with Piranha Plant, it kinda makes me not want more joke characters. So I'm sorry Mr. Saturn, you're great and all, but I'd still prefer 9 other mother characters instead of you in Smash. Ninth place is Pooh. Alright, well, Pooh would be a fairly simple addition. Considering most of Ness and Lucas's moves are ones that Pooh actually has in Earthbound, it'd suit him well to be a clone of them. Pooh, of course, has some moves of his own too, such as his Sword of Kings, which could replace Ness's bat or Lucas's stick if Pooh were to be a clone. Otherwise, I feel like Pooh wouldn't have much potential. As I said, most of his moves are ones Ness and Lucas already have, and I can't for the life of me think of a good way for Mirror to translate into a Smash Bros move, unless it was like his final smash. But that wouldn't work because then his final smash couldn't be PK Starstorm. Also, I hate to say it, but Pooh is kinda the least relevant out of the Chosen Four, so he wouldn't be getting in from popularity or significance to his home game. Pooh would be far from a bad addition, but not a terribly exciting one either. In 8th place is Kumatora. 
Similar to Pooh, she'd make for an easy clone of Ness and Lucas. She gets to be higher than Pooh because firstly, she's a bit more relevant to Mother 3 as a whole than Pooh is for Mother 2, and secondly, she's a female character, and adding more women to the Smash roster that's still predominantly men is a bonus. Kumatora is also an undeniably extremely popular character, and would almost absolutely bring more Nintendo fans a higher chance of them taking an interest in Mother 3. I kinda don't have much more else to say about her, other than it'd be cool to maybe see some other moves of hers be translated into her Smash moveset, such as PK Ground. Me not really having too much else to say I think kind of speaks volumes in terms of my excitement I'd have if she was added. I'd be thrilled, but kinda wouldn't have much else to say. I doubt she'd be anything more than a clone of Lucas. Definitely would be a good addition, but not the best they could do. One more thing, I wouldn't expect this at all to be honest, but one of her ults could be Violet, her waitress outfit. That'd be cool. Seventh place goes to Paula. Strangely enough, she pretty much has all the same points for her moveset as Kumatora, so I don't want to repeat myself. All I'll say is, she gets higher placement than Pooh because she's more relevant to Mother 2 than he is, as well as the added female character incentive like with Kumatora. And she gets higher placement than Kumatora because... I don't know. It's kind of hard to pick a preference over these two, but I think Paula is slightly more deserving of a spot in the roster. Okay, now sixth is Flint, and here's where things begin to get interesting. So you may know regarding Flint, he's not someone who in the final version of Mother 3 does a whole lot for the plot after the first chapter, so he's definitely not winning the relevance argument. I think if Flint somehow got into Smash as is, I would obviously be really happy, but I can't really say he'd be the best addition, because his moveset potential would be kinda limited, seeing as Flint only has a singular chapter worth of moves to pull from. This is actually where I want to go on a small tangent and say, even though Flynn is far from the best mother character to potentially be added into an official Smash game, I think he's probably the best mother candidate for any Smash fan game or fan mod. That being because, they have the potential to craft some kick-ass moveset which takes all of his Earthbound 64 moves, including all of his overworld abilities and his magic slash PSI, as well as being able to use this design for him. So here's looking at you, Smash Remix. Balls in your court or any other Smash fan game or mod that wants to add him. Oh, also one of his ults could be him covered in soot. That'd be funny. Fifth place goes to none other than Duster. Woo, Duster. People love this guy, and rightfully so. He's pretty important to Mother 3's story, has big moveset potential, particularly with all his thief tools, and he's cool too, I think. He could even have an alternate costume based on Lucky. But one thing about Duster that hurts his chances of getting in is... You! Yeah, the thing is, Duster's Rope Snake is actually Lucas's Rope Snake in the Smash games. Smash fans associate Rope Snake with Lucas and probably wouldn't be happy if they took it away from him just to give it to another character. And a Duster in Smash with no Rope Snake would just feel... incomplete. Maybe Duster could just get some rope instead like his unused Mother 3 sprites show. But... eh. Maybe someday, Duster. Maybe someday. Now we're getting into it. With fourth place, we have Anna. A bit unexpected, huh? Well, Anna potentially would be a great addition to Smash, in the sense that she'd pretty much be able to do everything Nintendo could, but she has the perks of not looking so similar to Ness, and she is female character representation. She has the potential to represent Mother 1 really well, I think. And that's the thing, a lot of Mother fans really want Mother 1 representation, because Mother 2 and 3 already have Ness and Lucas. So it would make a lot of sense to not just add a second Mother 2 or 3 character. But, I have something to reveal. I did place Nintendo higher than her, he's in 3rd place. As cool as it would be to see Anna join, ultimately she's not Mother 1's protagonist. And expectedly, she's not as popular as Nintendo. So unfortunately, I do have to put her below Nintendo. But, both Nintendo and her have the potential to really represent Mother 1 well. To summarize though, who I'd pick between these two to join Smash, if they wanted to go the Ness semi-clone route and give another character PK Fire and Magnet and stuff again, I'd go with Ana, since she can actually do all those moves in her game, unlike Nintendo. But if they wanted to do something more crazily unique and have a character with debuffs and status special moves, then I'm Team Nintendo all the way. I don't really need to go over third place now because I kinda just covered why Nintendo should get into Smash, huh? 
Well, before I get to second place, I will say Ninten has tons of potential for alt costumes. Okay, for full transparency, I love Mother 1, but the character ranked in second place for this list is totally my personal bias, and that's why they're above Ninten. Sorry, kid. And who is that character in second? It is the Masked Man. Yeah, he would not be the best character to represent Mother 3, let alone the Mother series as a whole, but he'd be so cool to play as. The Masked Man has wings, a jetpack, a sword, an arm cannon, lightning, and love PSI, and even all the pig masks weapons like bombs and stuff. That's cool as fuck. The Masked Man doesn't really appear in that much of Mother 3 collectively, but he's still really relevant to the game's overarching plot. And he'd just be a cool antithesis to Lucas. The strong counter-argument to the Masked Man's inclusion I can think of is that, well, he's a huge spoiler for Mother 3. That's pretty undeniable, and Mother 3 is of course a game that I go around preaching that people should go in as blind as possible for full enjoyment. But if somehow the Masked Man got into Smash and by that point you still have yet to play Mother 3, then bro, what are you waiting for? The fan translation has existed since 2008. Play the game. Now. Before I get to first place, I think I should go over the honourable mentions, those being four characters that four people suggested in the replies to my question I asked on Twitter that weren't already planned for this video. Those being Teddy from Mother 1, who was a cool character but unfortunately has pretty limited moveset potential, Eve, who's also from Mother 1 and also sadly has pretty limited moveset potential, Frank Fly from Mother 2, who was a pretty minor character in that game, and a Starman from Mother 1 and 2 but stuck in that one pose. We all know who's gonna be in first, there's no need to give any more delay. It's none other than Master Porky Minch. This is the one that everyone on Twitter was saying they wanted in Smash, and for good reason. There's a lot I can say in favor of Porky joining the roster, and I'll try to do him justice now, but forgive me if I forget to mention anything. He'd be the best villain representation for the Mother series, as he's a secondary antagonist for Ness and Earthbound and the main antagonist for Lucas and Mother 3. Not only would his inclusion encourage people to play Earthbound, but also Mother 3. While his inclusion would probably still be a huge spoiler for both of those games, it probably wouldn't be as bad as The Masked Man is with Mother 3. I mean, Porky was already a boss in Brawl after all. With Ridley getting an upgrade from boss to playable fighter, it seems only fair to let Porky get the same treatment. Porky is definitely an extremely popular Mother character outside of Mother fans wanting him in Smash. He's absolutely a standout character for people who've played and enjoy the Mother games. His moveset potential is also very expansive. He has so much to work with regarding his spider mech and pig mask tech too. Him being a boss in Brawl gave us a glimpse as to what his moveset could potentially be like, such as him having moves using Porky bots. Porky would also naturally go well with the new Pork City stage that's already in the Smash series, as well as the Foresight and Onet stages, albeit to a lesser extent. In addition, Porky has great potential for cool alt costumes, with his normal outfit, his business suit, him as an old man, and his weird colours from the end of Earthbound. I do have to add too, I think Porky would overall have the most potential to have a moveset that's totally unique from any other fighter in Smash. Assuming he'd be playable in his mech, that's not something any other character really has in their Smash moves to work with. The only thing close to that is Bowser Jr. in his Koopa Clown car. Porky could absolutely play very uniquely compared to Bowser Jr. though, being in a much tankier and heavier vehicle. It could be akin to how Banjo-Kazooie is very different playstyle-wise to Duck Hunt Duo, even if they seem similar at first glance. Porky is just all around the best character from the Mother series to join Ness and Lucas in Smash, through and through. So that was my list. Of course, none of these characters are going to join Smash Ultimate since that game is no longer receiving DLC, and who knows when the next Smash game is going to come out, and who knows if both Ness and Lucas are even going to return in that next game. Hmm, this video was kind of an exercise in futility, huh? Well, regardless, I had fun making this, and I hope you had fun watching. I want to thank you if you made it here to the end, and I also want to thank everyone who replied to my tweet about who from the Mother series they'd like to see join Smash. Of course, I'd like to hear what you all think about my picks in the comments, as well as any other thoughts you had on this topic. Until next time, everyone.